Hi everyone, my name is Felix from Shop3D and today I'm gonna take you through setting up the Fuse One. It's been three years in the making, so I'm super excited. So, let's get started. So we got the Fuse One all set up. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's really straightforward. The first thing we do is set up the Fuse Stand. It takes a little bit of assembly, but pretty easy after that. Then you get a friend to help you lift the fuse one onto the stand and drag it into the correct position. The next thing you'll do is open up the printer and replace the optical cassette protector with an actual optical cassette. Then you'll slide in your build chamber and close the door. At this point, you're basically ready to go. The last step is to put in some nylon powder and go on preform to start slicing. All right, the last step is to fill in the cartridge with some nylon 12. Because this is our first time using it, we're able to just fill it up directly from the bottles into the cartridge and then put it in the printer. Simply pull the lid over and pour in your nylon. All right, so we got our cartridge filled up. We're going to open the lid over here of the cartridge over and pull the blade open. All the powder will fall and fill the hopper. Now we're ready to print, so let's go over to preform on the computer. All right, so once you have your preform all booted up, you're gonna add your printer. Mine is already inserted over here, and you're gonna click on apply. All right, so now you see the build chamber and you're gonna pull over the file that you wanna print. And uh, if it says to repair, make sure you repair it. So in this case, we have this propeller and you want to make sure to put it flat like it is right here instead of upright because the previous configuration will use a little bit less powder. Once you're all done, you'll be able to preview your slice and then send it over to your printer. So now we can go over to the printer and hit print. We'll get a prompt to follow some pre-print checks that we must do before every run. This will ensure that we'll get successful prints. All right, so there you have it. From initial setup of the space to unboxing the SIF, unboxing the fuse and setting them both up all the way to the first print. And for more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment below or give us a call. Till next time, I'm Felix.